use the link in the description for a discount when buying or renewing your exit lag. Alright, these are the best exit lag settings for Valorant. Please follow the steps carefully. Before that, please leave a like and subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. Important things to know. The ping depends on your location and internet speed. If you have a slow internet, consider upgrading. These settings might not work for everyone. Comment down any problems, I'll try to help. So, download exit lag, use the link in the description for amazing discounts. Next up, run the installer and just install it. It's pretty basic and straightforward. So, after you have installed Exilag, it will ask you for your login information. As you know, uh, when you register, you get a three day trial and then you have to pay a monthly subscription to keep using Exilag. As you can see, it is now analyzing all the routes. If it's your first time, going in exilag uh, there will be no games showing in the recent uh, tab so you go on the search bar so as you can see i have fortnite and valorant so if you want valorant uh, you click uh, you just type in valorant and then click on it so it says game region all region so as I, as i mentioned in the beginning uh, the ping mainly depends on the location uh, that you are currently in if you're very far away from the servers you're going to have a very high ping than the usual as i'm living in south part of africa i will be using a manama bh manama which is the lowest ping i get uh, in the valorant if i use for example dubai it will be slightly higher but Dubai is unstable uh, as for the rest of the Dubai servers because we have Dubai 1, 2, 3 and 4. First choose Manama as you can see my ping is almost 160 but it goes around 160, 175 and the most important part is advanced routes. Uh, so you're going to choose zero TCP and two UDP routes and then just click on apply and it should look something like this. One good recommendation I have is that you need to keep your AC lag up to date. The current version is 4.239. So you go on your page and then it will say what is the current update. So make sure it is up to date so it, uh, it is always analyzing the routes with the new servers and another thing is that if you want if you don't know which server to put in uh, you just go up here and then click all regions recommended and then it will do an automatic route search for the best server uh, depending on your location and it will choose what server has the lowest ping uh, for your case after everything is done you click on update and if you somehow want to change to for UDP routes you can but remember it and I always mention in my past videos uh, when you do a change always click optimize when you change something optimize and then start playing again because if you don't optimize uh, the changes will not be applied and then you just click on apply routes and you can launch the game all right now let's go over to the tools tab as you can see it's general enable exit lag on start meaning that this button here will always be on so you don't have to always click it accuracy in route optimization so the lowest and the fastest is ICMP if you use something else uh, the analyzing routes will take a long time but it is mostly recommended that you choose ICMP first because the analyzing the routes in the beginning do not take that much time and I recommend you using ICMP if you wish to change to UDP TCP you can but the recommended is this one UDP slash TCP PSH and then we have all of these settings i have everything turned on because uh it is real-time optimization smart optimization and then enable ipv6 uh, that depends if your network provider has ipv6 uh, it will be turned on enable high kos priority and allow dual routes that is if you use above two routes if i'm not wrong but uh, just keep that enabled and that is it if you wish to change the language you can change the language and then we go on the fps boost tab as you can see i have disabled game bar and game dvr and disable core parking these are the only settings i have turned on uh, i i highly recommend that you do not put everything on because uh, it might mess up your computer and some things will not run as it's supposed to traffic shaper just leave it as it like that multi internet if you have different connections you can use that diagnostics diagnostics if you wish to contact exilag they will ask you to monitor the ping in real time and then send a screenshot and they will give you the best support they can based on the screen 
screenshot that you provide and we have new game request uh, if you have a game request then you can just do that but uh, yeah I, I see behind. all right my game is now running and as you can see my ping is much lower at this time and use Bahrain before your game starts for me it currently has 143 ping and it's the lowest I get out of all of these other servers 